Hello mga kids! Kamusta kayo? Welcome back to Mathematics Grade 4. Always remember that math is fun and easy. Tara na! Simulan na natin. Mathematics Grade 4, Third Quarter, Week 5, Lesson 3. Learning Competency finds the perimeter of a triangle, square, rectangle, parallelogram, and trapezoids. Before we proceed to our topic, let us have first a short review. Answer the following question below, class. Question number one: A polygon with four equal sides and four right angles. What is your answer, class? Very good. Square. Second question, class: A polygon with four right angles and its opposite side are equal. What is your answer, class? Very good. The answer is rectangle. Number three question, class: A polygon. That has only one pair of opposite sides that are parallel. What is your answer? Very good. Trapezoid. Next question, class. A polygon has two pairs of parallel sides and its opposite sides are equal. What is your answer? Very good. Parallelogram. Let us proceed to our topic, class. Finding the perimeter of a polygon. Always remember, class. That perimeter is the distance around the polygon. To find the perimeter of a polygon, get the sum of the lengths or measurement of its sides. First example class, find the perimeter of a polygon square. The formula is p equal to four times s. If the sides of the square measure eight centimeter, what is the perimeter class? Very good. The answer is 32 centimeter. Second example class. Find the perimeter of a polygon rectangle. Use the formula p equal to 2l plus 2w. If the sides of the rectangle is 8 centimeter width and 10 centimeter length, what is the perimeter? What is your answer? Very good. 36 cm. Find the perimeter of a polygon parallelogram. Use the formula P equal to 2A plus 2B. What is the perimeter class if the size of the parallelogram is A equal to 6 cm and B equal to 9 cm? What is your answer? Very good. 30 cm. Next example class, find the perimeter of a polygon trapezoid. Use the formula P equal to A plus B plus C plus D. What is the perimeter class if the measure of the trapezoid A equal to 5 cm, C equal to 4 cm, B equal to 5 cm, and D Equal to seven centimeter. What is your answer? Very good, twenty-one centimeter. Let us proceed to our activity class. Give the formula in finding the perimeter of the following figures. Then use it to find the perimeter. Look at illustration number one. The rectangle is six centimeter length and three centimeter width. What is the formula? To find the to find the perimeter of a rectangle, very good. P equal to 2L plus 2W. What is the perimeter class of a rectangle? What is your answer? Very good, 18 centimeter. Look at the next illustration class. What is the formula used to find the perimeter of the square? Very good, P. Equal to four times s. What is the perimeter of the square if the sides measure eight centimeter? What is your answer, class? Very good, thirty-two centimeter. Look at the next illustration, class. What is the formula to find the perimeter of a triangle? What is your answer? Very good, 
P equal to S plus S plus S. What is the perimeter of a triangle if the sides measure 12 cm and 10 cm? What is your answer class? Very good. 34 cm. Look at the next illustration class. What is the formula used to find the perimeter of a hexagon? What is your answer? Very good. P equal to 6 times S. Always remember class that the hexagon has 6 equal sides. What is the perimeter of the hexagon if the sides measure 9 cm? What is your answer? Very good. 54 cm. Look at the next illustration class. What is the formula to find the perimeter of a pentagon? What is your answer? Very good. P equal to 5 times S. Always remember that pentagon has 5 equal side. What is the perimeter of a pentagon if the sides measure 20 cm? What is your answer? Very good. 100 centimeter look at the last figure class the arrow what is the formula to find the perimeter of the arrow what is your answer very good p equal to a plus 2b plus 2c plus 2d what is the perimeter of the arrow if the sides measure a equal to 5 centimeter b equal to 7 centimeter C equal to 6 cm and D equal to 8 cm. What is your answer? Very good. 47 cm. Next activity, sub each problem. Number 1. The three sides of a triangle measure 24 cm, 34 cm, and 52 cm. What is the perimeter of a Triangle. What is your answer, class? Very good. 110 centimeter. We use the formula P equal to S plus S plus S to solve the problem. Number two problem, class. A square has the perimeter of 96 centimeter. What is the length of one side of each side? What is your answer? Very good. 24 centimeter. That's all for today, class. I hope you learn a lot. Always remember that math is fun and easy. Keep safe, everyone.